All right, uh, welcome everybody. Janis Joplin, the journey continues, man. Uh, this woman's incredible, bro. And the amount of people that she has influenced, the amount of styles she has influenced is clear as day. So I wanna keep listening and thankfully, uh, many of you are still suggesting uh, Janis Joplin. I want to thank primarily Jimmy for sponsoring the, uh, today's video. Jimmy from Nashville, uh, I dream of going to Nashville. I think with how much uh, country and stuff that I've learned, I think that's gonna be an important, uh, meaningful trip to me, man. So, so we'll make it happen one of these days. We're uh, gonna check out Work Me Lord live in Stockholm. Uh, like the main theme in terms of the comments for this is authenticity, rawness, emotional impact, her unique voice, the legacy. Janis Joplin has a troubled soul. Interesting. The feeling that you and I get listening to her, do you think it's only possible because of being troubled? You know, um, I, I think so. And probably that can give you and I the courage to tackle the hard things that we fear may break us because they may break and crack us. But the things that we can gain from that, perhaps it's uh, it's the influence to impact others. And look how Janice, this, this performance was from 1969. It's 2024 and we're still listening to it and talking about it, right? And this comment, no lip syncing, nothing fake, nothing staged, raw, real. Also, thank you, Western Audio, for sponsoring the channel, westernaudio.com, westernaudio.eu. Use the code SEBSDRAN10 at checkout for in-ear monitors. They absolutely change uh, the way you listen to music. We'd like to, uh, to close with a tune written by Nick Gravenitis. I can't tell if she's, like, Please nervous or... Electric flag. A song called Work Me, Lord. Oh gosh, dude, every time it comes back, I'm like <laughs> Work me long. Please, honey, don't you leave me. Ooh. I feel so useless down here with no one to love. Though I've looked everywhere. Speaking, she's speaking. No one or anybody, I can't find no one. And I've been looking, been looking everywhere. Can't find me, not anyone to love, to feel my cow's soul. Okay, 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 okay. These are mandatory pauses, bro. Um, geez. How many of us have felt this desperation, right? like that loneliness, craving God, and whatever form that takes for you, a help beyond your own, because you just feel like you can't do this and you're alone. The perfect song for that voice of hers to sing so that we can just, just feel it with her. My gosh. Please don't you forget me, darling. special kind of person down here i know better but i know you can't find yourself anyone on anyone who can say that's right like i tried the worst you could say all about me this is cool Okay. 
This is awesome, dude. He played so much with 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 these fingers, not it's interesting. I want to run that back. Contrast is one of my favorite things in music. Ooh. That's dynamic right there. Oh. That change. Yeah, I think this has to be my favorite Janis Joplin song that we've done, dude. Um, oh, gosh. It's just because it speaks so different. A lot of the things that I've listened to have been... I don't know how else to describe it. I have felt they've been... It's been, like, kind of sexy. You know what I'm saying? With that blues jazz sound. But here, it speaks to my soul of a thing that I feel. When I... Those moments that all of us go through, maybe with a lack of purpose or feeling like we're failing, we're just... One, don't leave me alone. But what, what I love about what that song 
does is that it's like, what's the cure to that loneliness to be used, work me, use me. And it's, uh, so you have this sadness that's just expressed so well in the song, but it becomes maybe kind of exciting when it's like, just be there for me to do something meaningful. And ultimately that might actually be the cure to that loneliness. And she walked me through that flawless. Th that, that is my favorite Janis Joplin we've checked out. That is my favorite song of hers. I already know how good she is. Because I'm waiting to listen to her some more for the with the next video we do of hers, I do forget like how good she is. So then when we get back to it, it's like, my goodness. So that's my question to you, viewer. Do you still get that feeling when you listen to her again? You're like, gosh, man, she's so good. Let me know. Beautiful song, man. It spoke to me. I needed to hear that today. That's, that's what I'm talking about. What a legend. 1969, 55 years ago. Oh, man. What a queen, bro. Fantastic. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Janis Joplin. Bye, everybody.